Hey guys, so I don't usually vlog during the week because I'm just working and I'm not doing anything particularly exciting, but I am shaking like crazy. Um, but I just saw the fertility specialist and wanted to kind of do an update of what's going on. So we are starting a whole cocktail of drugs. We're upping my letrozole to I think it's five milligrams I'm starting metformin which I'm not excited about because of the side effects um, I am scheduled for an ultrasound in like two weeks my husband has to get some testing done so and then from there <coughs> we are just waiting the three cycles and seeing what happens yeah so, I'm not super excited. It's better than I would, like. I was more nervous about what they were gonna say, since I like called to refill my lectures all, and they were like, "No, come in." So that got me nervous. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. My husband and I watched the Netflix documentary One More Shot, and that like kind of opened his eyes a lot to like everything that has that goes on, like that I have to go through or anything like that and it kind of made him one a little nervous for like price wise like everything that we might have to go through who knows but it also made him realize like hey like I go through a hell of a lot more so like the tests that you have to do aren't even that bad compared to like what the women have to do so we're gonna go forward with some of those tests and go from there I highly highly recommend that documentary um I saw that from it's Kelsey's life um she had posted it on Instagram so I immediately watched it that night I cried like a baby um so I definitely recommend watching it with your significant other if you're going through this if you're just starting this if you I just think it was a really great documentary and I really liked it um but okay I'm gonna go back to work now and maybe vlog a little bit more during this week so it's not like a little short two minute vlog um, but yeah, if you have started metformin, if you're on metformin, I would love some advice about what you take, what else you do, anything. So, um, hey guys, it's Friday and it is five o'clock. It's still light out. Puxtani Phil saw his shadow. So six more weeks of winter, but the sun is still out. It's still light. It's not pitch black. So I'm calling it a win. I'm waiting for Matt to get out of work and we are grabbing dinner and a movie we're gonna be <laughs> i rented i reserved on uh the red box uh geostorm <laughs> he is not gonna be happy about that but that's okay and then for dinner we're doing japanese we haven't had it in forever so we're treating ourselves we've been working really hard this week has been hard so we're gonna treat ourselves um so yeah hey guys so it is saturday I'm currently at another doctor's appointment. Um, I actually just got out of it because I have had this cough since January 13th. So I got the flu originally back on my last vlog actually. And the cough has just not gone away. So I came to the doctors <coughs> for that. Um, and she's giving me like cough syrup with codeine and these pearls for the daytime and basically told me that the cough isn't going away for months for people which is crazy to me because I cannot live like this for months but I guess we'll see what happens um also I called yesterday to make the appointment so this is my PCP's office which I don't really love and I'm sitting in the parking lot so people are staring at me <laughs> um so I called him yesterday and it was weird anyways when I called them because like I said my name and my date of birth and she put me on hold for like 20 minutes and then she came back and she's like oh, what can I do for you I'm like um I need an appointment so she made the appointment she verified all my info she verified like my date of birth my my insurance everything like that and she said I was good to go but then she told me she's like oh just to let you know you haven't had your physical since 2015 and I was like oh that's not that's not true I'm, I'm there all the time I was just there and then she looked again, she's like, oh, sorry, you're right, yeah. So, <laughs> I show up this morning saying I have an appointment at 9.15, and they're like, no, you don't. I'm like, uh, I called yesterday, I have an appointment. 
and they're like, uh, we have another appointment for another Amanda. Her birthday is 9-19. <laughs> I'm like, uh. I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure that's me. So, like, they figured it out and everything like that. They just booked the wrong person because she had the same symptoms as me, the cough and everything like that. <laughs> and I said, I was like, you know, it was kind of weird. The girl said I hadn't been here since 2015, and I'm here quite often. So, I'm moving this. Um... Yeah, we got that figured out. That was hilarious. Not really. Um, I dropped Matt off at work. So I gotta go back to Portsmouth at 3. I have a, kind of a lot to do today. Because tomorrow is the Super Bowl. So I'm gonna be... I gotta bring like chips and dips and stuff like that. And I'm also gonna do a dessert. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I die. I need to go to Target because I need to pick up these prescriptions plus I have two other prescriptions from my other doctor's appointment from Wednesday or whatever day it was, Tuesday. So I'm going to go to Target and pick up those prescriptions. I need an oil change, which to be honest I don't really want to do and I kind of want to tell Matt that he has to do it tomorrow for me, but yeah. Also the doctor that I just saw, she asked me if this was my real hair. I was like, yeah and she's like how do you get it so light i was like well i used to be rihanna red and then we just put the blue and black over my regular the red this is what happened my regular natural hair color is black i'm like and this is faded by like three or four months because i'm poor and have to pay for all these doctor appointments so i can't get my hair done anymore she's like oh it's really beautiful it doesn't look fried blah blah, blah. i'm like uh-huh thank you yep Good to know my hair looks good and I haven't had it done since like October or November. Actually, yeah, I want to say early November. So, oh, and I also need to go home because we got the red box last night. We watched Geostorm, which I will admit that those movies are totally my guilty pleasure. That movie was not good <laughs> at all. Every storm you saw in the previews. So, like, there was nothing, like, nothing exciting about the movie. It didn't really focus on the storms. It was more, like, focusing on the space shuttle, which I don't care about. I was watching this for the storms. I wanted Day After Tomorrow, and I got Geostorm fucking in space. It was bullshit. Um, Matt hated it. Those movies are my guilty pleasure. I love them. But that one was not good. So, I need to go home and grab that movie because I forgot it. Um, yeah, so let's get this day started and going, even though it's already been started and I've been up since 6.30, um, and it's 9.30, almost 10 o'clock, but, um, let's get some more things done for this. When you get paid, you can do 24 hours for this. What the hell is that shit? There is no doubt that the Patriots have clean players. What else would this be in that for? A razor? No. Oh, you don't want to be on the camera? No. Don't want to be on the camera. Dad, what were your numbers? Meet the arm in there. What were your numbers? Come here. Oh. Go ahead and have fun. Does this make every Super Bowl laugh? Try that. I don't know. Can you do that for me? What can you say? Todd was cut left. Yeah. I, feel like, I feel like he's in every fucking same movie. It's just a different title. No, this is um something with jumping. <laughs>